Is that what we want? Yes, 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 yes. This might be a problem with how the van curves. I love 3D modeling, it's so cool. Okay. Let's get into more of the finish stuff then. And you're gonna learn very quickly that I love green. I think especially because the exterior of our van has that beautiful forest green on it. I think having green like on the lower cabinets would be really cool. Guys, I'm obsessed with everything about this. I love the green, I love the gold, I love the wooden countertop, I love everything about it. I think it's so cute. Look at the floor! Look at the floor! The floor is really cute too! It's got the cool pattern, it almost- it. It's probably that weird like fake stick-on tile though, I don't know how I feel about that. That might be weird. But I love everything about this otherwise, it's so good. This is what I like, this is what I like. You can see it on the uppers here. I like this, um... You see it on the vintage wicker furniture? It has a name. I know when you install it, it's kind of like wickery looking almost. And when you install it, you install it wet because when it, and then you like staple it to the back of your cupboard and when it's wet and like you like do a whole ton of staples, like basically the whole perimeter. So there's no gaps. And as it dries, it like shrinks and then stretches really, really tight. But I like it because especially for the clothing storage and stuff on this side here, because it'll provide air movement, ventilation for those cupboards while also looking very nice. I love the arched uppers. I think it's a really unique detail. Let's save this. So here's an example of where they used the green at the base and at the upper. The hesitancy that I have towards doing that though is I feel like when you do two-tone, with the base darker and then the upper is lighter, it kind of gives the optical illusion of making the the space feel lighter. White tends to, tends to be a very like opening color. This is what I'm referring to when I'm talking about the optical illusions of color and how like everything all white does feel very expansive. I think that's why you see a lot of van builds and van designs that just use white everywhere without taking into account for the fact that they're still camping in nature with dirt. And they don't have an example of it with the dark on the bottom and the light on top, but with the light on top, I feel like it would bring some height to the height to the vibe of the van. And we're trying to go for a vibe that doesn't feel claustrophobic. So with this full height, with this full height millwork design in mind, I just, I don't know if I want to do, I want to do two-tone, I think. Ooh, I like this. I like this screen design. Ooh, what if you did that? What if you did that here at this point? Hey, that could be cute. For now, in the meantime, let's start saving some images actually of what we have so far. I think the floor that we ended up going with might be discontinued already, so if that's the case, I'm hoping I can at least grab an image from somewhere or I might just need to find something close. We went with vinyl plank just because of the waterproof aspect of it. So what I'm gonna do, <laughs> what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab the photos of the three finishes that we have and hopefully lay them out on a finish board that we'll compile here and just keep. And literally a finish board is just a whole compilation of every finish that you put in your van and we'll use this InDesign document to lay everything out together and just see how it feels. Oh, this is so grainy. I want, I want a high res image too because I can use the material image to turn it into a material for 3D rendering so that we can get the accurate depiction of our floor. So I know we have a Sherwin-Williams it's called, I think, like Evergreen Fog. Okay. It's Benjamin Moore's, uh, I think, Chantilly Lace. This is, is this gonna be, oh, it's so similar. <laughs> we got two. Okay, so first off, I know for our sink, I'm gonna try and find an image. I know we have a black sink faucet. We ended up getting it. It actually might be this one. We got it from a, like a thrift store. 
actually. It was a really good find. So I'm just trying to think. The other thing I maybe want to add to this is I know we're going to do... I well, I'm pretty sure we're going to do a cedar slat roof. Yeah, I think just like one of these. What if we organize this in a way that's like from bottom to top? Okay, maybe this is the time that we find out what that uh, like stretch. I don't know what it's called. Cane webbing. Is that what we want? Yes. Yes, 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 yes. Here. Okay. And I don't think we're going to do any of this cane webbing where the lower cabinets are. But I think that even though the floor maybe is kind of its own separate thing, the nice thing- Okay, the floor was kind of- uh, It was overstock. <laughs> so we got it for very cheap. And so it was a little bit of an afterthought, but I do want to be a little bit more intentional, I guess, with the rest of what we're doing. The cane webbing here, I think will tie in the color of the cedar on the roof very nicely. So I think that that can kind of stay. So the one thing I guess now we want to think about doing is looking at hardware pulls. So, oh, we do have butcher block counters too. Actually, let's add that quick. I'm pretty sure it was this one. And we ended up doing just a clear finish on it. Hardware pulls next, I'd say. And I am obsessed with these ones. I'm obsessed with them. I want them. I do, I do. Because we only have drawers in two places. So, do we only put it in two places? Because I guess they could go at the top of lower cabinets. But if we look at these photos, like this one here looks like it is a... at the top of a cabinet. So maybe we have two hardware pull types. Maybe we pick the leaf style for the drawers that we have, and then we pick something else for the cabinets. Cane, let's look at cane webbing cabinets and let's see what other people have done. It looks like a lot of knobs, actually. Gold cabinet knobs. A nice simple profile, like something like this. Literally the, as simple as it gets. Let's save this one. I think the last things are upholstery. I wonder if I have a photo. We bought this really beautiful hand woven rug when we went to Mexico, but oh, it's like this. Actually, I think it's this one. Very, well, very similar. It's not the exact rug, but I'm going to save this. And yeah, once we pick the upholstery fabric for the cushions and we pick a fabric for the curtains, I think, I think we're done that too. Okay, this is an option. Velvet floral upholstery. Oh my gosh, this one too. Wow. I just think this is a little bit too bold for what we have going on on the interior. I think looking at this palette, this is actually a very soft palette. So I think I like it. This one's kind of nice. I'm going to save an image of this too. Oh yeah. Okay. Hmm. Okay, and then we'll just do curtains. Would this be a vibe? I want, I think, with the curtains, I want to be a little bit more playful. I think when we do the curtains, we're going to have to do two layers. We'll have to do like a UV kind of solid blackout layer, and then we'll do like the kind of more sheer decorative layer. I'm saving it. I'm saving it. I'm doing it. Okay, so this was like gone. I don't know, this is a lot. Like this is actually quite nice. I really like the stripe. We'll make this one option two. 
The more I look at it, the more I think this option two is safer. Hmm. Well, isn't this something to think about? Okay, I think that's it. I think at this point, what I'd really like to do before we go further is to actually bring all of these finishes into our 3D render and decide if we like them. So, I think what I'm gonna do is start with the stove millwork. There. And usually with a countertop, there's an overhang, I'd say of about an inch. So let's just account for that quick. We're not going to be using any 2x4s in this project because 2x4s are too heavy. It will all be in 2x2s. This might be a problem with how the van curves, actually. Okay, I don't think the whole countertop is going to be able to lift up and back. It'll have to be- we'll have to cut part- which means this should maybe go a bit forward. Uh, okay, hold on. I'm just thinking- let me think out loud here for a sec. Okay, I do think that this span is small enough that we might be able to get away without using horizontal supports like this. But what I would maybe want to do then to compensate- hmm, I think what we'll do is we'll do like front to back kind of support just to make sure we're okay. Okay. So we'll do... And it's, it'll be kind of supported by this, um, this side gable, almost like a little cantilever. Is, this is ugly. We need to block this off. There we go. So yeah, this will be fixed. This won't move. We were just going to do two drawers. Two equal drawers. And another one. Yeah, that looks better. Okay, let's keep it at 14 inches. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna add the swing line like you see on our door fronts. Ooh, let's take a crack at this big one, this full height one. All right, I'm just gonna straight up delete this placeholder and we're gonna do the same thing like we did on this other side and do it from scratch. Based on the other millwork pieces we'll have and stuff, it'll be easier to do this as two parts. This will be really interesting too, because we have this water tank that we need to design around. <laughs> Yes. It's kind of working. I'm going to delete this for now. So this is kind of dead space under here. I'm going to bring my geometry back. Oh, okay. So this only really interferes with the van kind of at this back part here. Maybe we'll go like right over top of the water tank just to help box it in and secure it. This can't be floating. This doesn't work. Maybe we just don't do a horizontal piece here at all. So we have this whole rail that runs along the top. And then if we secure two by four back and adhere it to this part of the van, which let me do that really quick. I can do that here. And then build up. And it'll just kind of like rest on the back. Actually, 
What might be easiest to start with first, now that I'm thinking about it, is the upper cabinets that are gonna span across here. I think we should model those quick first. There we go. Um... So we got this, actually, well, I guess let's start with this gable here. We'd probably want a back one, too, just to cap it off, but, like, we'll bring it in. I'll show you what I mean. I'm just eyeballing this. Hmm. So I can copy this down do you see what i'm doing here though like we for the cabinets that we're actually like using in the uppers here like anything that is exposed and visible i want to finish nicely but if it's if it's gonna just kind of be concealed behind stuff i don't really want to put in the effort 3d And then this would be 12. <laughs> it's huge. Hold on. There we go. Okay. Okay. Well, that's our upper millwork here, I'd say. Good god, this is gonna be hard. Maybe... No, let's copy this guy. And let's go up here. Oh, man. Help, this is hard. Okay. Excuse me, I'm dying. Why does anybody... do this without... 3D modeling. Like, I actually, like, I'm stressed about this and I'm, I'm not even, like, actually building it in real life right now. I didn't see the windows, guys. doesn't it oh it doesn't it doesn't stop at this two window it goes back and it, it overhangs on this back window here so it definitely it definitely crosses over <sighs> I have an idea but I don't like it I don't like it but I honestly, mm, I'm comfortable building in front of this window and just like covering the whole thing, but I feel weird partially covering a window. Plus these windows slide open and close, like mm, what side do they? Oh man. Hello, welcome to my stream where I'm stressed for three hours, four hours. Jesus, jeez Louise. Okay. I'm just going to focus on the bottom first for now. We'll focus on the bottom for a second. And then we'll get to the top. I'm stressed about the bottom or the top right now. So let's just disregard for a minute. Let's create another gable. Okay, let's move forward with these dimensions here, and then we don't need this gable down the middle if we have two doors that are opening down the middle. But what I think I want to do, just for good measure then, if that's the case, is let's do some, just some like structural uh, support, I guess, like one by four or one by twos maybe. And we'll have them go across the top here. So if I do, we'll do this. 
Hey y'all, this is Angora editing in post. I realized that okay. I did in fact model the millwork in front of this window, regardless of what we were just talking about. I'm not quite sure what I'm gonna end up doing when we actually build this in real life, because I, I still don't want to build in front of this window, but um, it's still happening here regardless, so I guess just take it for what it is. <laughs> So, width, 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 equals 381. I just had a thought. How tall would this be if we did a full height? Just under four feet? Do we like this? Hold on. Do we like full height, guy? Do we like full height guy? I kind of like the full height. So I'm liking how this is shaping up. We will still, let's do some kind of gable to cap off this back piece here though, because this is really ugly and we want to hide this. I just want to make sure that this aligns with the base because this I want this all to read as one pretty pretty and then in option three this is pretty much just be this piece and then this would just be dragged all the way across easy 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 peasy. And then from under the bed in option three, under this bed here, you can access all this stuff in the garage, but you can't see it from the outside. So what's the point of finishing it off, right? No point. I think we just have to do this sink millwork really fit, really fast. Wait. Um. Okay. Because we're doing the farmhouse sink, this doesn't work. That means that we have to do a couple things. Here. Okay, let's go back to 3D. Okay, snap. There we go. All right. Okay, so I know for a fact how we actually built it. The millwork doors pretty much went up right here, this way. And then we created some little covers. Oh, they're not joined here either. <laughs> I didn't do any of this. Eh? Wow. We did it! Okay, and then all we have to do now is just do the uppers. Oh my god, I'm so stoked. Okay. <laughs> and so that'll stretch the whole spans across. All right, create. Whoop. Okay, what were we doing here? Oh, we're just adding some support for these doors, because, yeah, the hinges can't be floating. We need something for them. Yeah, so we'll do both beds. We'll start off with bed option one and then move into bed option two. I'd say six inches would be maybe a good springboard point. I'm also just gonna I'm going to round these corners quick to, I don't know, maybe like an inch. So it's a little bit more realistic. The cushions won't read like perfect boxes, right? There's some, okay. So there's a good starting point. And now, because cushions don't read like perfect boxes, 
I'm going to just add a void sweep along this top edge especially. I don't think I'll need to do it on the bottom one, but I'll add a void sweep on the top just to create the illusion of a seam. So let me do that quick. This song is really cute. <laughs> okay. Um, profile. All right. Perfect. Wow. It's definitely coming through the van walls though. Oh shoot. I just, that means I just need to bring them in a little bit. All right. The other thing I'm just thinking about is where do we get this cushion? Maybe we just use them as back cushions along the back and then along here. Let's, I uh, guess, copy it. And then... Oh... <laughs> Oh no, the van curves too much. Do we kind of hate this? I kind of hate this. What if it has to be the same? Ugh, it has to be the same thickness though, so that the bed's not weird. Okay, let's try. Let's just try putting it on the back and even seeing if that works. Okay, this doesn't even work for the width of the bed. We have a cushion dilemma. What do we do? What do we do? Okay, just exclusively for the cushions and like how this isn't like if we had a uh, if we had a sprinter or any of the like more boxy, more boxy van designs, then this would work. But because of how much our van angles in, and you can see this in this like long section, and you can see it in the width section, like see, yeah, look at how this curves into. Okay, I think I would. I actually really liked this L-shaped bed option in theory, but I actually don't think this is gonna work. That literally means we are distilled back down to <laughs> the van design that we have. That's hilarious to me. I've already- the thing about this be bed design though is it's already like half built. We've actually already done it. So I, I just- I don't see any value in modeling this to the 2x4. The reason why we've modeled the other things to the 2x4 is because we have yet to build it. We done! That's literally it for every single detail of this interior that we will need to 3D model. We are done. The only thing that I guess we could talk about doing if we felt like it is and let's well, let's get into the 3d rendering and we'll decide but and so i can leave this here in the left bottom left so we can see what the materials will look like but we can play around with placing things now in our end model what do we want to start with i guess let's start off with our cabinet base maybe there this is what we want and you'll see, again, it's very subtle, but it does have the correct texture that painted plywood does, which is exactly what we have in the base of our van. So we'll give this a shot and see how this looks in Enscape. I think this did everything. So now we need, ugh, everything's wood grain. <laughs> it's all wood grain. Now we need a Chantalili lace. Okay. It's gonna be very subtle. This should do the whole base. Should update it at all. Okay. And then these ones too. I think that's it. Let's do the floor finish really quick. We'll let our uh, appearance update. Okay, apply, 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 apply. Okay, let's see how this looks. Ooh, it's very dark. Oh, it's actually, oh, it's very small. 
I think our planks are six inches apart and I can see from here that this is way smaller than that. They're so tiny. Let's scale this up a little bit. Like, Hmm. Hmm. Let's leave it and we'll decide to fuss with it later if we want. Let's do the butcher block counter and then we'll do the cane webbing. I think that was what it was called. <laughs> um, countertop. So if we edit this one in place and we do this and we go to here and we go to butcher block and we press OK, then we finish model. Oh, I want the I want the grain to go the other way. Yes, okay. Look at how huge this is. Look at how big these holes are. <laughs> we got it. All right. Copy. Eh. 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 And now we paste. Apply. I love 3D modeling. It's so cool. Okay. Yay! Oh, I forgot the countertop on this side. Okay. Oh, our upholstery. We could also do, actually I'll do the gold really quick for the handles though first. It looks really um like, kind of like this like weird ugly yellow in like Revit for whatever reason. But when you actually have it placed here, it looks way better. So looking here. Ah, that's so cute. Wow, they're so cute. They're really small, but we modeled them based off of the dimensions that we got. So I don't know. OK, let's see how this looks when we change it. Honestly, like, pretty good. Pretty good, actually. You know what? Okay, let's finish doing the other finishes. Okay, let's just finish doing the other finishes. I have thoughts already, but... Wow. Wow. The one thing I'm seeing, too, we need to do is the cedar on the roof here. There. See, and you'll see this is how we would construct it actually too when you build this ceiling down. I actually think we're gonna have to bump down the heights of these then to, uh, to account for the ceiling thickness, I forgot. I can't see this at all. So what I think I'm gonna do quick is add pot lights. <laughs> oh, that's better, much better. <laughs> Let's see how much it uh, lights things up. It lights things up a lot. <laughs> Okay, I'm just looking at how this upholstery feels now that we see it in this space with all of the white framing. And I feel like it might be too white. I think I want to do something else. There we go. So let's test the upholstery again and let's try a different direction. It also is way too shiny. I don't know why it's so shiny. I like this option more. I'm actually surprised. I didn't I didn't think I liked it. But I like it a lot more. So, let's go back to our asset library and just because this is gonna I know it's gonna go slow we're gonna pause the live updates just for this time okay like that hey that's not bad lovely okay I just wanted something up there but I actually, I think we're good with assets. We've placed a lot of stuff. All right. Yep, now that everything's in, we can do the rendering. Um, okay, that's it. That's it, it's done. That's so exciting. 
That's so exciting. This is it. It's done. We're here, guys. We did it. This is in the making since February. I started, I think, like uh, like February 14th or something on Valentine's Day. Um, it took this long, but we're here now. I'm so happy! I'm so happy! And that means that concludes the van build for the... Yeah, the design with me for the van build, which is like... Cool! Amazing! Wow, okay, I'm- yeah, yay, 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 yay! Okay, thank you so much, I guess, for hanging out with me while I took it this far, and I guess, like, for YouTube purposes, anybody that's kept up with the design series from start till now, I will- I will definitely be posting a video just to YouTube talking about the actual construction process of this van trying to think of what else other than to conclude it. I'm- I think that's it. I think we're done. I'm stoked. <laughs>